Hello everyone, it's Shannon with Shannon's Crafty DIYs. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I have three home decor DIYs uh, for the fall for you. And just a few different ways to recreate some pumpkins, uh, getting products mainly from the Dollar Rama and the Dollar Tree. So let's begin with the tutorials. So for the first DIY, I'm just gonna make a more modern sort of pumpkin, if you will. Um, I already had this, uh, board from the Dollarama and I'd painted it white already and I've had it for almost six months now never knew what to do with it and now I finally had an idea and I'm just taking some of these wooden letters that I got from the Dollarama as well and I'm just spelling out the word thankful so you see here I'm just kind of lining up making sure it fits in the the square and then I'm just going to go ahead and take some of the black acrylic paint from the dollar store and just paint just one coat of paint um, all the letters. And then to speed up the drying process, I just used my my hair blow dryer and the words dried instantly. So now again, I'm just repositioning them, making sure that I like the way they are. And then I'm just gonna take my hot glue gun and seal them in place. And just because the letters are so tiny, I'm just taking some of my pliers and just removing some of the hot glue because you guys know the hot glue gets very stringy and it almost feels like, I feel like spider webs almost when it's dry. So anyway, I'm just pulling them all off and here it is. Now I wanted to make the stem and I guess I forgot to record how I did it already. So I'm just showing you here. I used a piece of toilet paper roll, believe it or not, and I'm just taking some of this poly rope that you find in the automotive section of the Dollar Tree. And all I'm doing is just hot gluing it around the paper or the, um, the toilet paper roll. And then using some of the gigam ribbon or buffalo check as you want to call it i am just going to make a neat bow so all i'm going to do is just cut a piece of the ribbon and just wrap it around the stem first and then i'm going to create another piece and make a, a bow just a very simple bow and then i'm just going to hot glue them both to the stem And as you see, I haven't cut any of the ribbon off yet. I'm just creating my bow just to make sure that I know I have enough ribbon. And that also helps to prevent you cutting off more than you need. And uh, anyway, that's what I like to do. Just to cut off at the very end after making the bow. So here is the larger pumpkin all finished and I decided to go ahead and make a smaller one. So again, I'm just using three of my Jenga blocks that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to hot glue them into place. And I'm just gonna um, use some of my white acrylic paint from the Dollar Store and give it two coats of paint using my blow dryer to dry in between each coat. So that way you have a faster drying time. I didn't really show you the painting. It's not, you guys know what to do <laughs> as far as that step goes <laughs> and I didn't show you but I did the same stem as the larger pumpkin I just used some of the toilet paper roll with the poly rope and made another stem and here is the final results of the pumpkins I thought they turned out super adorable I feel like it's a more of a modern approach on the pumpkin tell me what you guys think of this and again you guys can change the color too to whatever you like but I thought I was super happy that I was able to use this board that I've had sitting around for six months. <laughs> now moving on to the second DIY, I'm going to make another pumpkin. So using this uh, buffalo check uh, bandana that I got from the Dollarama, I'm just going to go ahead and unravel a roll of toilet paper. Not the whole roll, but 
at least a quarter of the roll and see what I'm doing here. You just wrap it around and you're just going to tuck it into place. Now this DIY, I want to give credit and shout out, shout out to my girlfriend, Kim. She uh, gave me this idea and I love it. So I am just recreating my own little version of it. Uh, anyway, thanks Kim. <laughs> so here I am just taking the bandana and I'm just going to fold it and make it look neat and as I'm doing that I'm going to tuck each corner into the center of the toilet paper roll and once you have it all tucked in you can just go ahead and play around with it remember it is toilet paper so you can squish it around and kind of mold it to how you like and the shape that you want your pumpkin to look like <laughs> So now I'm just taking some of my loose leaves that I had just lying around and some of those spare ones that you didn't need in like previous DIY. So I'm just messing around with it a little bit and seeing how I like the leaves to be placed. And I did go ahead and make a third stem using the other half of the toilet paper roll. So same thing with the poly rope and the toilet paper roll. Now I did use two leaves. I thought that was cute like that. But then in the end, I just thought I only wanted the one leaf with the stem i thought that was even cuter it almost looks like you can do an apple like this as well what do you think so a third pumpkin diy i'm just taking one of these uh huge foam pumpkins from the dollar tree and i picked up this or a shirt from the thrift store. I thought it was really awesome because it kind of fits to the Buffalo check theme. And, uh, you know, for $5, who cares if you're going to give it, a, you know, if you're going to cut it. So anyway, what I'm going to do is the just remove the stem from the pumpkin. Now it just went in originally with a toothpick. So you can just keep that stem and toothpick like that. And I'm just going to cut out a hole in the middle of the pumpkin just using my exacto knife so just be very careful your exacto knife is very sharp and you don't want to cut yourself so remember it is foam sometimes the foam will um, uh, fall into the bottom of the pumpkin but I was able to retrieve the foam and get it out and throw and be able to throw it away so now I'm just making sure that I cut enough fabric to cover my pumpkin so i'm just measuring everything out here and just an fyi i did wash this shirt uh, <laughs> before I'm st i started to use it because again it did come from the thrift store <laughs> And now remember, the edges do not have to be perfect. You are going to be hiding them once you stuff them into the center of the pumpkin. And once that's complete, I'm going to paint the stem that came on the pumpkin originally. I'm just using my Burnt Umber from the Dollarama. Now with this one, I find it very watered down because I, I really love it though, because it gives that natural wood look when you're doing you know other DIYs. However, this project, it definitely needed two coats of paint. And in between each coat, I just used my uh, hair dryer to speed up the process. So here I'm just taking an old uh, branch that I got at Christmas last year and I'm just going to use some of the leaves from it. Now here you go, you can just put the stem inside and again what's great it's already on the toothpick so you just have to reinsert it just like that. Now here I am just deciding which leaves I like and just you know you can, you can play around with it to whatever you want as well. And you don't even have to use the stem that comes with it. You can just take a stick from the outdoors. It is free. <laughs> I'll show you the final results of everything at the end of the video. So moving on to the final DIY, I absolutely loved this sign from the Dollar Tree. I am not doing anything to it whatsoever, but I will use it in this DIY. So I'm just taking off the jute twine hanger that came with it. Now I just cut it by the knot, so this way I have some extra jute, 
twine for the future projects and i'm just taking one of these baskets i already had this on hand for many many years so what i'm gonna do is make a little uh pumpkin basket so taking these uh wooden stakes that i got from the dollarama it was awesome dollar 25 or dollar 50 i think for a 10 pack awesome so now i'm just lining it up to see where i want to put it on my basket just taking some of the wire from the dollarama just cutting a piece and then this way i could just adhere the um the stake to the basket so i'm just gonna apply it to both sides what's nice about the basket is there is holes through it so it's very easy to insert and then i'm just going to do a twist tie motion on the back just to seal everything so again it is loose which is fine because when it's on the counter or the floor wherever you put it um it's very sturdy because the the stake has a flat bottom anyway so once that's all done you can easily slide the stake out and I actually want to give it a coat of black paint so again just using my black acrylic paint from the Dollarama <laughs> So a quick dry blow dryer so I can start my project right away. So now I just lined up the pumpkin sign just to make sure it's centered to the basket. And once you are okay with it, then go ahead and use your hot glue gun and add some glue to the stake. And then this way you can place your sign and make sure it is in the correct spot. And now just the fun part of filling the basket. I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing here. So just to make it uh, add some height to the basket, I'm just taking a couple of Dollarama plastic shopping bags and putting it in the bottom. And then I'm just taking the other uh, Buffalo check bandana that I got from the Dollarama and just placing it on the bottom of the basket. And then you can just go ahead and play around with all the pumpkins that we made and just placing them in the basket. So as we're approaching the end of the video, I hope you guys had a ton of fun in this DIY video. I hope I inspired you to recreate pumpkins of your own and you know, you could change them to a more modern approach like the first DIY if you want as well. I this again, I am super excited for fall. Uh, you know, I cannot wait. You know, today is the first day of fall, I believe. But today is September 22nd when I post. So anyway, uh, remember guys, I do post videos every Tuesdays thursdays and saturdays and i would love it if you could hit that subscribe button and also click that bell button right beside it and that way you will be notified every single time i upload a new video and i would love you guys forever so i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you guys at the next video bye for now